Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm going to be testing how well my washing machine and dryer removes bacteria from cleaning cloths. Oh boy. So speaking to my friend Bree about laundry, and we were talking about separating laundry, and she asked me if I launder use cleaning rags with regular laundry, or if I separate it, do I soak them first, and all this stuff. So I posted on my Patreon community, and I asked, how do you launder your cleaning cloths? So from this discussion between Kayla and Bree, I figured I might as well do a test on cleaning cloths to see how well the wash machine can remove bacteria from them. So this video will be a little different than my other cleaning videos where I'm testing the efficacy of a cleaner. So for this test, I have some brand new utility dish cloths, just white cloths that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to clean surfaces in my home without any cleaners, just wiping with the cloth. I'm going to wipe my kitchen counter, my kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and my toilet rim. Normally, I only clean my toilet with disposable cleaning cloths or paper towels and a spray, but for today, I will use a reusable cleaning cloth. Then what I'll do is I'll take some sterile swabs in a Petri dish, and I'm going to swab a sample from the cleaning cloth after it cleans the surface and put it on that Petri dish. I'm going to have an area on the dish labeled C for control, and not going to put anything there. Then what I'll do is I'll put the cleaning cloths in my washing machine. I'm going to use one Tide Pod and put it on the towel setting. When they're done in the washing machine, I'm going to take a sterile swab and swab them again to see if there's any bacteria left on the cloths after washing. Then I'll put them in my dryer, again on the settings for towels. And when they're done, I'm going to sample them again to see if there's any bacteria left on them after washing and drying. Something to remember while I'm doing this test is that I'm not going to be using any sprays or chemical cleaners on the areas that I'm wiping with these cloths. It's just going to be this cloth. So let's see how well my washer and dryer is able to remove bacteria from cleaning cloths.
now for some results. First, let's look at the amount of bacteria I was able to get on the cloths just by wiping various surfaces around my home. So we have plenty of bacteria on the cloths for both the kitchen counter and the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink has a lot more than the kitchen counter, but still it's plenty of bacteria for us to test the washing machine with. Again, we have plenty of bacteria on the cloths from the bathroom sink and the toilet rim. Next, let's look at the results after I clean them in my washing machine with one Tide Pod on the towel setting. Okay, this is a bit surprising to me. After washing, <laughs> there's still a lot of bacteria on my kitchen counter cloth and the kitchen sink cloth. There's actually very little difference between the before and after washing. That's very surprising to me, so this is like blowing my mind a little bit here. All right, let's look at the bathroom one then. So we can see a decrease in bacteria after washing in the washing machine. It does not get rid of a ton of the bacteria, but there is a slight decrease in bacteria after being laundered in my washing machine with one Tide Pod. Now let's see how much bacteria is on the cloths after going through my dryer on the towel setting. Let's start with the kitchen. Okay, this is a bit better. Let's look at that kitchen counter section first. So it might be difficult for you to see, but on the kitchen counter side, so KC for kitchen counter, there's about a dozen tiny, tiny, tiny small bacterial colonies there. I think that is a significant decrease from before washing and after washing. It seems like the dryer is where most of that bacteria was removed. We definitely see a decrease in the kitchen sink side. So the before had a lot of bacteria and now after being in the dryer, there definitely is a decrease in bacteria. It is not a huge decrease, but there is a decrease in bacteria from going from the washer through the dryer. <sighs> I'm really not certain what to make of this. I would say the dryer does more than the washing machine did at removing bacteria, but to me, this is still not a great result. Like to use that cloth again, I'm starting with a lot of bacteria on that cloth. Now the bathroom. So on the bathroom sink side, there are a ton of teeny tiny little bacterial colonies. So it's way less than what we saw in the before we even washed with it, after we washed with it. So it definitely is a decrease once it came out of the dryer, but there's still a significant amount of bacteria on the towel after coming out of the dryer. Now the toilet rim, this completely surprised me because I just told you a couple days ago that I don't like using reusable cloths to clean my toilet. I always use disposable wipes or paper towels to clean my toilet. However, looking at this, it seems like my washer and dryer are able to remove more bacteria off the rag that cleaned my toilet rim than my kitchen sink. So what do we make out of all of this? Oh boy. I definitely think the dryer does more than the washing machine right now at disinfecting cleaning cloths. I am happy that I do separate my cleaning cloths from my regular clothing laundry because clearly there's bacteria on these cloths when you're using them. Even as they go through the washing machine, there's still bacteria on them and the bacteria doesn't really decrease until it's been dried. And even at that point, it's not removing all of the bacteria. So where do we go from here? I'd like to hear from you in the comments. What do you do to disinfect or what you think is disinfecting your laundry. I've heard some people say they put cleaning cloths in a bucket. If you do that, what do you fill your bucket with? I've heard pine saw, I've heard bleach. Not a huge fan of using bleach, especially since I'm on a septic system. I have seen in stores, a, I think it's Lysol laundry sanitizer. Maybe I should give that a try. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more testing to figure out how to properly disinfect cleaning cloths. I'll add in some additional step, either a soaking or an additive or something. We're gonna to have to experiment here until we figure out how we can get these cloths to come out of the washer and dryer bacteria free. So if there's a product that you would like me to test, put it in the comments section, I'll do my absolute best to get to it. I absolutely love conducting these tests. I love seeing what cleaners work. I love seeing what methods work to actually disinfect one's home. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please hit that subscribe button if you like seeing these Petri dish results. Take care, have yourselves a great day.